Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we have something very exciting to share with you, especially those of you that love movies. Good movies. Uh, E.T. This is, what you see here, is the, 30, uh, the 35th anniversary remastered edition of the score, of course, by the amazing John Williams. Um, it was very hard to get it, but Mike did his best. He kept searching and he managed to get his hands on one of these. And I'm saying this because there's only 5,000 units of this. So not everyone is going to end up getting one. Uh, so those of you that didn't manage, um, don't worry. I'm sure you can, um, you can, you can get the music somehow one way or another, but what you pr probably won't be able to get is this awesome booklet that comes within the album. And we just love this touch because this is something that was um, very regular, you know, in the 80s, 90s. But then at some point, everything started to be expensive and they started to cut out stuff. And uh, one of the things that you don't get anymore when you buy a CD, if and when, because people now uh, listen to it online, but when you buy a CD, 99% chance is that the album doesn't have any extras at all. So really, really happy to see that uh, this ET album does have a really nice booklet that really brings you back to the time when um, this was still a thing. And I actually used to love these booklets in uh, albums. Whatever album I would buy, I would always be extra thrilled to see something extra in there, whether it's a little bit of history about the making of the album and all that or just pictures or interviews or all that used to be in there. Sometimes depending, of course, uh, uh, what brand, what artist and all that. Well, you guys know what I mean. So anyway, enough babbling. Let's just take a look and see what's in here. I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking as this is actually meant as literally sharing this with you. So I'm going to make sure that the pages are really uh, um, have a clear visibility so that you guys can just put it on pause and read for yourself because this is not doable. It's, it's going to be a very long video if I were to read this uh, for you. So just going to um, go through this booklet, hold it still, make sure that uh, the text and all the words are visible for you to read. And uh, yeah, let's begin. So, first of all, let's give some credit to the artist that made this cover art. I just love it, it's beautiful. So this is page one, and this is more like an ode to John Williams and how this music managed to survive. It's still loved by so many people around the world. I love this picture as the background. I love how they say here, the movie itself is so well known, it needs no introduction, <laughs> which is really true. I mean, I was born and grew up in North Africa and even I had friends that had an E.T. toy and I'm talking about early 80s. So this is really a movie that does not need any introduction anywhere on the, in the world. I think it's as much as famous as Coca-Cola sign maybe. Here is the master himself at work, John Williams. Let me give you a good view of the pictures they included in here. Of course, the most famous moment from this movie. I just love what he did with the lighting here. The background is so dark. 
It's almost like a Rembrandt or maybe a Vermeer painting. So here's the text. Again, pause if you need to read it. It's such a hot day today, guys. I hope my hands are not too sweaty. Just again, put it on pause if you need to read the whole thing. You might hear some cat rambling on the background as I think the cats are about to fight. <laughs> so sorry about that. I'm just gonna continue if that happens, but I'm gonna stop because I have other things to do and I just wanted to share this with you, so. We're almost there. Maybe this is a little bit better if I hold it like this. Cut it out, Mika. And of course, they always choose the, the wrong timing to fight and bug each other. Always, always. Whenever we want to share something here, or as soon as the camera starts, they start. I'm sure everyone that has cats or pets knows the problem. It's like they know. So yeah, and of course, Another famous moment from the movie, the taking off. Of these suburb kids on their bike. I'm sure this is a street picture that's really uh, known to many kids around the world. Playing in their neighborhood on, the kid, uh, on their bikes, and, I mean. Let's see what else is here. One of the, the most beautiful uh, scores on this album is of course the, the Departure. We listened to it last night, me and Mike. Of course the whole album is beautiful, but uh, so is the Departure. And I love the uh, end credits music. Saying goodbye. I hope this is clear also, as the blue background color makes the glare even wor uh, worse. But I'm doing my best here, guys. Oh, yeah, I hope this is okay. I hope I got it now. Hope this is okay. Almost done. Wait, 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 wait. What I'm gonna do with that glare in the middle where the fold is? Oh, maybe like this? Hmm. I'm sorry. Really trying my best here, guys. Um, maybe different angle? No. Yeah, the black is even worse when it comes to glare. Maybe like this? Yeah, I think this is much better. And... 
the last two pages. So it's 27 pages in this booklet. Some movies will never be forgotten. You know, you have E.T., you have Jaws, Indiana Jones, Star Wars, of course. Just too good and too beautiful. Too many memories attached to them to be forgotten. All right, that was it. That was it, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Have a good day. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment. And um, hope to see you soon again. Look at this, guys. Me and Mike were wondering. We were wondering if our neighbors here will ever be going, uh, coming back or not. They've been gone for a very, very long time. I think they were just a little bit um, nervous about what was happening here. Those of you that watch our channel, we shared with you a, a time lapse of what happened here. It was a lot that happened here. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're back. It's the same neighbors. I can I can see her. I can see the um, the wife on deck. It's funny. Wow, they've been gone for a very, very long time. Did not expect to see them back. Oh, I'm happy they're back. Look, now that space is not abandoned. They fill up that space too with a, a, a houseboat. Man, love it. Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, nobody's walking, welcoming them with flowers or anything. Oh, look, look, for a moment there, I thought they were dumping oil in the water. But what you see here is actually the soil coming up because of that engine boat. That engine boat needs to have a very strong engine to, to pull all this. So look what it does. The whole bottom comes up. That's crazy. I was ready to yell out the window. All right, we're not gonna film this with you guys as we filmed and shared with you all these houseboats when they were removed and placed on their uh, places again. So if you love that, you can watch all these vi uh, videos in the playlist that's called, I think, the renovation of Amsterdam Canal. You'll be seeing a lot of that, so. But yeah, nice to see the neighbors coming back. It's actually very easy. Once the uh, pivot a little bit with the houseboat, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Oh, okay, wow. I just saw a guy in a dress, short dress. <laughs> Why not? No, I'm not making fun, it's just cute. Anyway, so yeah, so the, the uh, they push the houseboat a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. That's why, why they have two boats, those engine boats. Then when it's, once it's in place, they just push it to the side like that. See? And that's how they place it, back to where it was. Oh, wow. Now he's pulling themselves to the side, see? Because, you know, the water is a big help. The water works a little bit against gravity, of course, so.